Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be me doing a two looks and review with the new Game Beauty Adventure palette. I did a first impressions with this recently. Game Beauty is a new brand. They just started and this is their first release, the Adventure palette. It's very cute, a nice little tin pan. The packaging is super cool. Let me show you just in case you didn't see my first impressions. But it looks like this, very video game-esque. It's very pretty. Looking into this forest, ruins kind of situation, it's super cool. I'm very excited to see where else they go because I have a feeling their packaging is always gonna be like A+. But it opens like this, like a little door, and then has the mirror and the palette and shade names are like this. It's very small and compact. It's very sleek. I really like the packaging on this. I like all the detail. I think it's a cute concept and just a really cool layout and setup. But yeah, like I said, we have 10 shades, we have four mattes, we have three shimmers, two kind of marbled shimmers, and then a pressed glitter. A lot of different mixtures of texture in here. I'll kind of break down my thoughts on each of the formulas at the end of the video. But for now, this is just kind of the layout for you just in case you haven't seen it and you're just stumbling upon this video, but I assume most of you have probably at least heard of this or why would you click on this video? Game Beauty was super kind and sent me this palette. I'm very grateful. As soon as I saw that they were a thing, they were on my radar. So then when they reached out to me wanting to send me the palette, I was super appreciative and very excited. This is not sponsored in any way. I'm just doing this because I want to. You guys seemed really excited about the idea of a two looks video in my first impression. So here I am with some more looks for you. In this video, I'm doing two looks. Like I mentioned before, one of the looks is the one you see right here. At the end of the video, I will give you my full in-depth thoughts. Like I mentioned, I did already do a first impressions if you wanna see an additional look for inspiration. And I will also be doing an Instagram video with this, I think pretty soon. I think I'm gonna do an Instagram video with this at the end of the month. So just stay tuned for that as well if you want even more inspiration. <laughs> I'll give my wig and jewelry details, I think at the beginning of look number two, cause I forgot to give them in look number one, but I will give all of those details of my accessories at the second look. So just stay tuned if you're interested in all of that. And I guess I've rambled enough. Let's just hop in, create these looks, and I will give my thoughts on the palette at the end of the video. Hi, good morning. What is today? <laughs> I always like to just tell you the day so you know like where I'm at in life. Um, it's the 21st, it's Monday. I'm getting ready for work and we're gonna create a look. I'm very excited. I want to do a big wing look today. I know, I know, but I feel like it's been a little minute since I've done one, so that's what I wanna do today. <laughs> I'm also gonna play with the pressed glitter. Surprise, surprise, right? I just figure I might as well give it a whirl, you know? Priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion because it's my favorite right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. So I do wanna really quick just dust this Ruins shade kind of just all through the crease and a little on the lower lash line just to have a little bit of a background color peeking through. By the way, I sliced my finger yesterday when I was cutting a tomato for tacos, so if you see my Band-Aid, ignore me. <laughs> this is just a Juno & Co. fluffy brush. I'm just popping a little, little light wash of this color through the crease. I'm very excited about playing with this palette some more. I'm very intrigued by it. I'm curious to see how versatile I can make my looks. Gonna pop just a little on the lower lash as well. I think I want to keep my lower lash line focused today, mostly in this outer corner. So I'm not gonna drag this all the way through. Kinda sorta something like that. All right, now let's create a big wing. I'm gonna use my KVD Vegan Beauty Graphite Super Brow Pomade. I like to have a black base on when I put shimmers on top of it. I feel like they pop fun and they look really cool. And I also like having the precision of creating my wing first. You could totally create a big wing without using like a base, but I like to use it. I like to use this product because it's waterproof and it also is eye safe, so it works great and it's nice and creamy. This is a little e.l.f. concealer brush. It's always hard for me to talk while I do this, but I will try. I apologize if you hear traffic. I have my window open because it feels good. I like to just kind of look up so I can see where it transfers so I can know kind of how high to make my wing. I'm gonna draw my tail out here. I like it to be quite dramatic. Yes. Basically touching my eyebrow. I'm gonna kind of create this inner portion now. And then I'm just gonna kind of draw it across and connect it into that inner portion. I apologize if I go out of focus. It's so hard for my camera to like register what I'm doing when I have my hand so in front of my face. But yeah, this one I'm just gonna kind of fill it in and then perfect the wing. This is one of those techniques that takes some practice, but once you figure it out for your eye shape, it's not too, too bad. If I was doing this without filming, it would take me maybe two minutes per eye. It's not too bad. And I'm just gonna fill that in and 
call it a day. I think I'm actually gonna really quick just go ahead and repeat this step on the other eye so I can make sure that they're even before I get too deep into eyeshadow on this eye and then we will regroup. And I might perfect this one a little bit. I feel like you can always do more tweaking, you know what I mean? Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, I'm a little more up to speed. These aren't my best wings, but I think they're gonna be fine, especially once I have the shadow on and have like my lashes on and things like that. So we're just gonna call it what it is. I'm okay enough with these. <laughs> so for the outer portion of my wing, I'm gonna take stealth because I think that'll be beautiful atop of this black base. It's gonna be lovely. And then I'm gonna put heel on the inner portion. If you wanna recreate this look specifically and you're kind of scared of glitter, um, I totally understand. Maybe you could use treasure to have like a lighter twinkly inner corner. You could use really whatever you want. These are just what I'm choosing to use today. I'm going to start with this lip brush from Spectrum and I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter glue. I'm using a lip brush so that I can get really precise along this tail. All right, taking some of Stealth. I love this color. I lost my mind in my first impressions when I used this. It's so pretty. It's the coolest kind of weird greeny almost purpley duochrome i don't know how to explain it it's so cool but i am just following my tail again i'm so sorry if i go blurry hopefully not i'm just coloring in the lines oh this looks so cool on top of black i love this stealth shade so much so pretty and i'm gonna take this shadow a little bit up here so it can kind of be a little bit of a diagonal, so it's not completely straight, but nothing too crazy. That is beautiful. I'm going to take just a little bit more glitter primer on just this random flat brush, just to pop a little bit in the front portion. Sometimes pressed glitters don't need a glitter primer, but I use glitter primer with everything, so. All right, here's heel. Let's see how this goes. Glitter is not intended for use around the eye area. Do as I say, not as I do. It is up to your personal discretion if you choose to use glitter or not, which is also personally why I'm using glitter glue to help make sure that it really sticks and doesn't move around everywhere. And I'm just going little, little bits at a time, just plopping it down on this front little portion. I want it to be heavier in the front and then as I start to get into the green, I want it to kind of diffuse out. You can't really blend glitter, but you can kind of create a little bit of a gradient, which is the amount that's being used. Ooh, this is pretty. I feel like it reminds me of a dragon or something. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush I had earlier just to dust away any remnants of glitter. And finally, I'm gonna take Stealth one more time on this little Luxie brush. It is the 111 brush. I'm going to just smudge a little of this against the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm not taking this too far. I just want a little bit of connection from my wing into my lower lash. Ooh, I like this. Very pretty. Um, okay, I need to highlight my inner corner. I'm just gonna use my face highlight. This is Seismic from ColourPop. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna press that right there, carefully of course, because I have glitter around me. And there's that. I really like this. I guess I'm going to finish this eye and then I'm going to throw on my eye pencil, lashes, lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, this is the first look. I think it came out really pretty. I'm getting grungy Christmas vibes. I wasn't intending on that, but you know, it is the season. It's fine. I love how this came out though. I think my eyes look really pretty, even though I'm not a big like pressed glitter user in palettes. It is a pretty glitter objectively. I think it's very cute, and I just, I love that stealth shade. I can't get enough of it. The eye pencil I paired with this is from NYX. It's the Chartreuse Flash Pencil. I just felt like it would kind of go with that glitter, and I think it looks cute. My lashes are from the brand Noella Lashes in the style Heather. I think they're just lovely with this look. I've been wearing these a lot the last few days. And this liquid lipstick that I'm wearing is Plath from KVD Vegan Beauty. I just wanted something kind of contrasting, and I, I just like this overall look. I think it's really cute. But yeah, this is the first look. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's move on to look number two. Hi, hello. Um, good morning again. It's also morning today. I'm getting ready for work. It's the 22nd. I'm in a good mood. I think it's just because today's my last day working in the salon before I take a couple days off just to have Christmas. <laughs> so I'm excited to just relax and hang out. I don't know why I'm priming both eyes. I only do one eye on camera at a time. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
but just priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion like usual. I realized in look number one, I forgot to give my like accessory details. Both wigs are Christmas wigs from look number one and look number two. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. I'm wearing the same plugs as look number one. These are from the brand Hear No Evil Jewelry on Etsy. My non-affiliated discount code BeautBeam will save you 10%. And this choker is from Shop Sun & Co. That one I do have an affiliate code with. It's BeautBean in all caps. I don't know where either beanie is from either. Very sorry. Probably a Forever 20 one. They don't have like a tag on it, so I can't check, <laughs> um, but something like that. They're just basic beanies. Okay, let's create a look. I'm going to start with the level up shade, that kind of tealy, turquoisey kind of shade. I'm going to take this really old Morphe E17 brush. I just want something kind of small and kind of dense, and I'm just going to work it through my crease, build it up in my outer corner. I'm gonna do a little bit of half cut crazy stuff today. I really wanna play with the purple and teals. I think that'll be a cute combo. I hope you're doing well. I think this video is actually going up the day after Christmas. If you did anything to celebrate, what did you do? Tell me all about it. I hope you had a good day, whatever you did. Even if you don't celebrate, I just hope you had a good day. I'm excited to bake a bunch of cookies. Zan and I are gonna decorate sugar cookies on Christmas Eve. <laughs> and just watch movies, it's gonna be fun. All right, I wanna use XB to blend it out a little bit. This is an MOTD Cosmetics brush. It's the Sheer Seamless Blend. Actually, it's the Seamless Sheer Blend. I got that mixed up. Just a little bit of that lighter green to help blend the shade out. I used more of the minty shade in my first impressions to blend this out, but now I wanna use the more springy green. I think it'll be cute. I'm trying to utilize these shades as much as possible. All right, so let's take Dungeon now, and I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner in the crease a little bit. I do wish there was like a deeper colorful shade in here, because even the level up shade isn't super deep. It's kind of mid-toned. I wish there was a dark colorful shade. I think a really dark purple or even just a matte purple in general would have done this palette well. Or even this brown, if this brown could have just been a deep green. I think those are my main criticisms, if you will. <laughs> and obviously I wish the pressed glitter wasn't there, but that's okay. It is what it is. I'm getting used to pressed glitter. And I mean, I obviously wore it in look number one. It was a really pretty glitter. But like that shade could have been substituted for a dark, dark green. That's okay though. I'm still excited about this palette and I'm excited to see where this brand goes. I'm excited about their future launches. I don't even know what they are, but I'm excited about them. <laughs> Gonna take a little bit more of level up on that first Morphe brush, just to lightly dust kind of on top of what I just did, just to help smudge it out so it's nice and smoky. I want this crease to be kind of a murky teal situation. Now I'm gonna take that springy, brighter green on that blending brush. And just kind of go to town, making sure this is nice and soft. I think I'm pretty okay with how that looks. Let's do some cut creasey stuff. I'm of course taking my NYX Glitter Primer and a flat brush. This is my ColourPop E3 brush. I'm just gonna take this and smush this glitter glue across my lid. And for my eye shape, I like to go right above my natural crease and just kind of follow the round shape of my eyeball. And I'm gonna stop where it's really deepening up in the outer corner. Just like that. And now I wanna take Boss, the shade right here, and I just want to smudge that all up on the lid. I do want this to fade down into a tealy shimmer, so I want this to be kind of my cut portion. I feel like this marbled shimmer isn't as bam as the other shimmers in the palette, like the stealth shade and even the maze shade. These two teals are a bit more impactful, even the yellow. But this marbled one isn't quite as punchy. It's still cute though. It's a softer moment, but with this I'm just following that cut crease shape so that can be like that initial cut. And then just in case you're new, I like to place my multiple shimmers in a cut crease at kind of a diagonal. I like the look of it on my eye, so that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm putting heavier focus in the front and then making it skinnier as it gets to the top. And now I want to use Maze, because I haven't played with this one on the lid yet, only on my lower lash line. I think in my first impressions, I'm just going to take that on the clean side of that same flat brush 
and I wanna pop this right underneath. With greens and purples, you have to be a little careful blending them, like be careful not to over blend, because they're a little separated on the color wheel, so if you aren't careful, they can muddy out. It's a bit easier to blend contrasting colors when they are uh, shimmers that rather than mattes, but just be careful. And this shade won't be as bad because it is blue based of a green, so blue and purple are closer to each other on the color wheel. Just some tips for you if you struggle with blending color. Oh, I like the colors together. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the turquoise tealy color is just so much more impactful than the purple. I wish the purple had as much punch, but that's okay. I still think it's cute. Now I'm gonna take the brush that I had with the Level Up shade, the very first shade. I don't have any additional product on this. I'm just using what's left over. And I'm just lightly smudging this outer corner so it can flow from matte into shimmer nicely. And I wanna take a little bit more of that bright green that I've been using just to dust in this outer area <laughs> so it's nice and blown out. I also just wanna take a little pencil brush with a little bit more of Boss, that purple, just to pop some under that lower lash line. I think that'll be a cool little pop down here. Something like that. Just another little pop of color. And then for my inner corner, I'm just gonna use Seismic again. It's what my face highlight is. It's what I used in look number one. I'm just gonna pop that in there for a nice little pop of bright. And that's it for the second look. I think it came out pretty. I think I like the first one a lot more, but I do still think this look is cute. I like that combination of the teal and purple on the lid. I think it's a pretty combo. Okay, I'm going to repeat it on the other eye, throw on my eye pencil, lashes, lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, this is the second look. I think it came out really pretty. I really like this combination of colors. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. <laughs> Again, I wish that the purple had a little bit more bam, but it's still pretty. It's just more of like a soft, sheeny kind of shimmer. Not so much a satin either, because I feel like that makes it seem like it's a satin. It's still a shimmer. It's just a little bit more of a glowy shimmer. Not so much of a bam, more intense, like wet looking shimmer like the teal one is. It's still pretty though. I think it's a cute combo. Overall, I like this look. I think it's cute. I'd love to know what you think. <laughs> the eye pencil I paired with this is the Trick or Treat pencil from ColourPop and the Hocus Pocus collection. My lashes are those same Heather lashes from Noella lashes and my lip combo is from ColourPop. My lip pencil is So Happy and my lippy stick is Fab. Just wanted a nice little neutral today. I think it's cute, I like it. I guess let me zoom you out and we will chat about my final thoughts on the palette. All right, hello, welcome back. Did you enjoy the tutorials? I would love to know your thoughts. Which look was your favorite? I do like this one, I'm vibing with this one, but the first look was definitely my favorite. I felt really good. I got a lot of compliments on my eye makeup at work yesterday. I felt good in that look. I thought it was super just, I don't know, fierce, pretty. <laughs> I do like this look as well though. I think it's a really cool combination of colors. I'm liking this kind of purple rim around my inner corner. I think it's a pretty little pop. All right, let's break down the palette itself. Again, A plus on the packaging. I freaking love it. I saw a few people complaining about the $45 price tag in my comments on the first impressions video. And I think, well, for one, they are an indie brand. They usually do have to price their things a little bit higher because it's just made in smaller batches. But also you have to think like this packaging is a lot more like different, it's not just typical packaging. So that's probably where some of the money goes as well. Not saying like you have to justify $45 if that's not in your budget, but I do think the packaging has to do with it as well. But we have the 10 shades in here. I like the way all four mattes performed. Like I mentioned in look number two, I do wish there was one like deep colorful shade. I feel like that would have made this palette like just a little bit more over the top for me, but I did like the four mattes. I think they all perform nicely. I think these three shades all vary in tone enough to where like I'm fine with having all three of them. They don't seem repetitive for me personally. I kind of like that there's the springy green and the minty color because it can kind of transform your look one way or the other. I like these colors, I think they're cute. The three standard shimmers in here are so pretty, especially like the stealth one, which is more of like a duochrome. <sighs> I love stealth, it's so pretty. Like this one, if that could be a single, that would be really cool. I think a lot of people would really like that shade. But I like all three of the shimmers. I think they're pretty. They have a nice wet looking kind of finish. Overall, I don't really have any complaints on those. I think they are pretty solid shades. I like the way they look. The yellow is such a bright shimmer yellow without it being gold. It's so pretty. The two marbled shades are cute. They're just not quite as impactful. Although I didn't use the orange yet, but I'm gonna assume it's the same as the purple. I guess that's the only shade that I didn't use. Typical Betty Jean not using the orange. But the marbled purple is just more of like a reflective shimmer. It's not as much like bam shimmer. It's still cute though, but I do wish it was a little bit more impactful but I still like it regardless. And then the pressed glitter, obviously you guys know I'm not a huge pressed glitter person. I would have preferred that to be like a different shade. Like maybe that could have been the 
darker colorful shade but I do think this pressed glitter is cute it's a pretty like situation I don't know how to describe it I was gonna say shade but I feel like glitter is multiple things I can't really call it one shade it looks pretty on the eyes I'm not scared to use pressed glitter I'm not scared to use glitter on my eyes in general but I don't prefer them to be in palettes because they aren't technically eye safe and I know a lot of people are uncomfortable with it and I would just prefer another shadow be in there <laughs> overall though I feel like I like this palette for the most part. There's only a couple little things that I would tweak, but overall I'm excited about this palette. I'm excited about this brand in general. I think they have a really cool concept going on. There's not a lot of gaming themed makeup out there and I'm excited to see what else they do. I can't wait to see what they do for future palettes and just products in general. I'm really excited to see their theming and packaging. I think it's gonna be a really fun journey to watch them. I'd love to know what you thought of this video. What do you think of my looks, my thoughts? Are you interested in this brand? Did you pick up this palette? Do you wanna pick up this palette? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me an emoji that makes you think of a video game, whatever that means to you. It was really fun for me to see the emojis you guys left in my first impression. You were really creative. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean, follow me there. I post every single day. And don't don't forget to subscribe because I'm posting most days here as well. I've been posting every single day up until now and I do think I'm posting again tomorrow but after that I'm going to be going back to my normal routine again. I feel like I did good. We posted every single day a little past Christmas and now I need to get back to a regular schedule because I've been filming all the time. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information and resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay bye.